Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Icon and Icon Loop, and they are preventing disasters with ships on the high sea by tightening the inspection. This is from the Iconist. So they're helping improve the credibility of Korea's ship inspection regime by building a blockchain-based ship inspection management platform, obviously built on ICX. I'm not really sure if this is the public or private, but we know that DID is on the public blockchain. So um, we will see about this in the future. Even if it is on the pl uh, private blockchain, there is a chance of interoperability in the future. The initiative is a trial project by the Ministry of Science and ICT and KSIA. Obviously, that means the government is involved. So for those of you who are doubting the involvement of the government in ICX, this is definitely more proof that the Korean government is involved in ICX. So um, poor inspection management can have deadly consequences at sea, as we all know. So the communication, the Korea Communications Agency, or the KCA, is building a blockchain-based ship inspection system to improve maritime safety, and Icon Loop is supervising the effort. They're going to be using their blockchain system. So basically, um, according to multiple news sources, uh, the system connects data from Central Radio Management Service, KCA, and National Federation of Fisheries Cooperatives, and that allows ship captains to confirm and manage ship inspection information with a single click. So if there's like you know a hole in the ship, they will actually know, and people won't actually get left out. If there's something wrong with the engine, they will actually know. So we don't get other situations like the Titanic. Actually, it doesn't really help that all that much because the Titanic, there was nothing wrong with the ship. It just ran into an iceberg. And if you run into an iceberg, even if your ship is well inspected, it's probably going to sink. But this particular um, this particular system will track ship deficiencies and get them fixed before disasters can actually uh, happen at sea. Obviously, dodgy ship inspections can have tragic consequences, and that was uh, to do with the 2014 sinking of the Sowal Ferry that killed 304 passengers. So the thing is, like, Icon is getting more use by the Korean government. Icon Loop's getting more use, and that will lead to more um, transactions in the blockchain eventually. I don't really know if that's this is going to impact current price. I am very, very disappointed in Icon's price performance. Um, and I can't really say much about that. I still believe it's going to pass its all-time high because when Icon pumps, it does pump a lot. And I believe there's still a lot of pump power left into it. It's just that they don't really do much uh, marketing and people don't really know about the coin. So that's why it's falling behind in rank. I do believe it will actually perform pretty well the rest of the bull run. It's up a little bit today, but so is everything else. I think it really just needs more marketing so people actually know about this coin. It is outside the top 100 now, so you can see it as more of a small cap coin at this point. Yeah, it is up from when I bought it at 40 cents, but everything is up more. This is like the only one of the main coins in my portfolio that hasn't performed above expectations or performed at expectations. Most of the other ones like VeChain, Cardano, Polygon that I've actually put in have actually performed probably above expectations and they've given me great return in the last year and a half slash two years. I hope Icon can actually catch up because it does have a lot of use case. This is not the only one. The Korean government's also using it for DID, but this is just another good use case that could pop up in the future and definitely help the price. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.